Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Carolyn Gochi, and I am coming to you to announce some scary but wonderful things that are going to be happening for me personally. I am going to start on a path to better my health, to better my life. You see my shirt, I bake and I know things. People who know me know how much I love to bake, but I don't probably bake the healthiest foods. I bake the foods that I'm used to, that I was raised on, um, that are white flour, sugar, and just full of wonderful, tasty, tasteful things that aren't necessarily the best things for you. And I've noticed over the course of the past few years, shortly after I turned 40, it got harder and harder for me to lose weight. It also, being a single mom of a young child, became easier for me to go for those quick and easy meals. A lot of the quick and easy meals had dairy in it, so therefore we didn't do those. I wasn't a mac and cheese type person, but a lot of the fast meals didn't have a lot of vegetables in it, if any at all. We stuck primarily to protein and carbohydrates. Not healthy, I know it's not healthy, but I was just really trying to find balance in my life as a single working mom and trying to get nutrition into my son. Sometimes I fed him better than I fed myself. Not good. I have the weight to show it. I'm not happy about it. I've done my recent labs. Everything looks normal, but I'm overweight. I know I'm overweight. I would like to be 50 pounds lighter than what I am. That's what I was before I got pregnant. Um, I lost most of the pregnancy weight, but it's been six years. I have no excuse. I know my activity level has gone down. I know food can be an emotional subject for me um, because uh, food is, I've been food shamed in the past about the different foods I wanted to eat or couldn't eat or did eat um, and those like I said it's an emotional process so I'll be working with my therapist when I hit some emotional uh, some emotional uh, roller coasters with this or roadblocks to power through them I know what it takes to be healthy and I want you to know that I'm here with you if you're struggling with the same stuff so that's why I'm airing this and helping you realize that you're not alone so here's what I'm doing on my journey that is gonna make it fun for you. At least I hope it'll make it fun and beneficial for you and for myself. Again, going back to my shirt, I bake and I know things. I have probably 10 different healthy cookbooks, fad diet cookbooks, different cooking genres that other people have tried, failed, ask about and don't really know what's going to be the best one. I am going to work through those books. I'm going to do take recipes from each from one cookbook. Uh, I'm going to work with one cookbook a week and each cookbook is going to take a while to get through but I'm just going to rotate through them. I'm going to find the recipes that are easy, the recipes that are fast, and the recipes that taste good. And I'll give my opinions on them. And I'm hoping that it'll help me reset my body to eat better and reset my habits to eat better. Um, I'm also gonna start becoming physically active. I thought I was active. I got a fitness tracker for Mother's Day. I realized I'm not as active as I thought I was. And I can tell, so I'm gonna start um, taking better care of me. Because moms, I'm gonna tell you right now, I saw it before I became a mom, and it really is true now, you wind up putting yourself on the back shelf you don't take care of yourself, you take care of your kids, you take care of your household, you take care of work, you take care of everyone else but yourself. So I'm starting my journey to take better care of me because when I take better care of me, I'll be a better mom, I'll be a better doctor, I'll be a better person, and I'll be happier. I'm not saying I'm not happy now, but I know when I have inflammation in my body and I have extra weight on me, it disrupts my sleep, it disrupts my moods, it disrupts my hormones, and it causes for me to not be at my optimal self. So I'm not, I'm going to be using supplements from different companies that I have. I have one company I'm gonna be 
trying out one of their detox programs and seeing if it works for me. After I'm done with my four weeks with that program, I will give a review on what I think about it and see how well it works. I'm gonna get back taking my supplements regularly. I'm going to do what I need to do to help myself. And I'm gonna be following up with blood work and making sure that works really well for me too. And making sure that I'm making healthy changes. But again, my blood work looks normal. It does show that I have uh, an alkaline acid imbalance, which means I eat too much food that is acidic forming in my body. And when I did the test, I had been off of coffee for three months. Didn't really make much of a change because I know I was doing refined sugars and refined carbs. But again, I don't eat healthy. I make all my food from scratch. I don't eat processed foods. I rarely eat out. Um, but obviously I am making something that is not agreeing with my body. So I'm gonna try finding foods that are fast, healthy, and taste good, and work to help kickstart my metabolism to lose this weight inflammation and to get myself better. And I'm not looking for this to happen overnight. I'm not looking for it to happen in four weeks when I'm done with the first detox program I'm doing. I'm looking at this to help me make a lifestyle change. I've done it before. Um, 10 years ago, I became diagnosed with Lyme's disease, really had to change my whole life and everything like that, and it was really hard. It was really emotional. And then once I got better, I started backsliding into my old habits, and I could tell, but like it's just easier to grab a cinnamon roll and two strips of bacon than it is to sit down and make a, uh, and make steamed vegetables in the morning. And honestly, everyone knows cinnamon rolls and um, bacon taste better. Now, cinnamon rolls are homemade. They're made with organic ingredients. Bacon was, wasn't cured, so it wasn't unhealthy food per se. It was not the right choices for me. So I'm gonna start making some better choices, finding some different alternatives. And yes, I will be baking it's what I do. I'm gonna go with the gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, egg-free recipes. I'll find the ones that taste good and I will share them with you. Um, because this is my journey. This is what I'm doing. But I'm sure a lot of you have been on the same journey. A lot of you are probably on this journey with me. And I'm here to help. I'm here to ask questions. I'm here to consult. Losing weight, changing the way you eat, is emotional. Food is an emotional subject for me. This is why I typically don't counsel patients on what to eat. I can advise, but I have a hard time telling someone what to eat when I know I'm not eating the way I'm supposed to. Um, so, and I'm hoping to do a lot of this with changing my dietary lifestyle. I'm not looking to do the quick fix styles to help me lose weight. I am not looking to um, you know, drop the weight I want to in five weeks. That's not healthy. If I am 50 pounds lighter one year from now, I will be happy. I'd like to be halfway to that goal by the end of the year. That'd be 25 pounds. I gotta start somewhere though. And I'm not gonna do it with a lot of fad stuff appetite suppressants or anything like that. The supplements I take will help with resetting my alkaline acid ratio, hopefully, and help with detoxifying my body because I do have inflammation and trying to become better. But a lot of the stuff is I have to eat better and that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna share my journey with you. So hope you enjoy.